Hello and welcome to the course on Docker Basics. My name is Sijish and this video we will see how to use Docker Compose to build and run a container. So in uh, you can refer my previous videos on how to write the Docker file. So I have uh, a directory Apache to Docker and here I have Docker file so which will define how to build a Docker image and uh, run Apache to and and create the directory and run apache to service so we have seen how to build the uh, uh, docker image by using this docker definition file and then we have to we can run a container using this image but here we will be using docker compose option to build and run the container okay first make a note of this directory right and uh, just come out so let me create a directory docker underscore compose 01 i have let me create one more directory docker2 go inside this directory and uh, so i'm writing a file called docker hyphen compose dot yml so this is a yaml file and where we will uh, define the set of instruction that need to build the image and then run the container and in the docker compose file the first thing we need to add the version so which is nothing uh, nowhere related to the docker compose version so that is the version of the uh, format or docker compose file format that we are using so i'm using three and next is the services so under services we can define uh, the containers that we are going to run and you can write any name here so that is the name of the service which i am going to create just uh, write uh, ubuntu web server whatever it may be then how to uh, create this container or whatever the container i am going to create uh, the first is we are going to build this okay otherwise if you are not building we can just write the image name but here i am going to build that so use the build flag then i use the directory location where i am going to build okay i think uh, i have noted down so that directory is uh, whatever the directory location we have noted down so the root apache docker so just use a space and build will check is any for any docker file or docker file available under this directory and based on that it will build the docker image then if you want to give a particular name for this image what you can do is uh, image if i'm not using the image by default it will use some name based on uh, this name plus appended some values but here you can customize the image name that the image we are going to create using the docker file under this directory so let me write it something like a uh, docker compose uh, slash then apache to colon 1.0 write it in the double quote right and uh, the name of the container we are going to run so as i said here we are uh, telling to build an image with this name and run the container so if you want to customize the container name so if you are not using this option it will use some default name for the container so otherwise i can just use container underscore name then uh, whatever the name docker compose apache to whatever the name i can use then the next is while running we need to map the port okay so some some port we need to map the host machine port with the container so that you can write using ports then under port there is an array of uh, port mapping you can define so that is something like uh, 3308 any any port which are the available colon 80 so this means the port 80 of the container is mapped with 
3308 of the host machine. So that's it about this uh, Docker Compose file. The first thing is the version, then the services. You can write multiple services here. Maybe multiple container it will uh, build. But uh, here I'm just using a single uh, container. But that container is developed by using a Docker build. So Docker Compose file is here and image name container name and uh, what are the port mapping it's uh, doing then save this and we can just use docker compose up so it will do the building as well as the running of the container so we will take another terminal and just use docker container ls see eight second back and uh, here 3308 is mapped to 80 and uh, image name so this is the image name and uh, this is running now if you go back here so you can see uh, okay so here uh, I just used the docker compose uh, up so that it will be here in the terminal so to uh, kill this or kill the container you just need to use the control C now if you check here ls or even lsa also it won't uh, i think yeah it it's exited so in that case docker container rm and i can remove that but here i can just use hyphen d flag so that it will run in a detachable mode or in the back background so if i just see here docker container ls i can see that is still running and uh, here i can just use docker compose down so that it will uh, stop the container and uh, remove the container now if i just use docker ls nothing is there even ls a also not showing so in rather than doing control c if you just execute docker, docker compose down that will uh, stop the container and clean the container that's it and if i just use docker image ls i can uh, see uh, i think uh, this is the one which created some time back maybe we can remove this image also and do that so coming back to the docker compose yaml file so this that's it under services we have uh, one service Ubuntu web server and which is nothing but building a docker and uh, naming the image like with this name and uh, uh, just to create a container with this name and this is the port mapping it's doing so that's it about uh, the docker compose and we have seen how to build a docker image and run a container and customization what we did is just use the image name to use our own image uh, name and container name we have given our own so these two are optional but if you leave these values i mean if you're not using these values here in the docker compose file so it use the default values so default value will be uh, concatenated with the, this service name i hope this is very clear and i request you to do some hands-on on this i will be adding uh, this docker compose and uh, docker definition file in the description so please do it yourself and uh, subscribe my channel to get more update thank you for watching see you in the next video bye